All right. Yeah. I'll come back to the other part in the future. Uh, well, actually, I'll just go ahead and start recording on here, too. The recording has started. I wonder if it's going to go all the way. It should. It says the recording has started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go into a little bit about the virtual business card in just a few minutes. But for the past few days, it's been a lot of people that have been talking about all these nonprofit organizations. Whether it's a organization that helps people, you know, whatever whatever the nonprofit organization is. Okay? I just don't know if I can be seen. Um, my main thing is the fact that nonprofit organizations are fine. They have a purpose, okay? Churches are fine. They have a purpose. The challenge that I come into is there are so many churches and so many nonprofit organizations, and the thing that happens a lot of times with these nonprofit organizations is they'll have a dinner. When they have that dinner, that dinner is going to be $100 a plate. After they have that event with that $100 a plate, they pay somebody to come and attend and speak, whether it's motivational, inspirational, spiritual, or whatever. That person that came to speak, they got paid because tickets have been sold, the plates have been purchased, and things like that. They may end up giving a uh, scholarship to five students or uh, ten graduates or whatever. Okay, That's good publicity for the nonprofit organization, and that's also beneficial for that student. But the thing is, is with nonprofit organizations, whether it's a church that gets tithes and donations, whether it's uh, a nonprofit organization that gets donations, who benefits from it? And so, like on the radio earlier today, they were talking about uh, when well, you know all these churches, if everybody put a hundred dollars in at the church and they did that once a month, that's a whole lot of money, and then we can buy this, that, and the other. But the only thing is, is when you donate that money to that church, what do you get? When you pay your tithes, not that you're not supposed to pay, but when you pay your tithes. Outside of the, the spiritual deliverance that you get or the spiritual blessings that come from you for being obedient, who benefits? Because if you look, the pastor is not going without, the president of the nonprofit organization is not going without, his staff, whoever they are to help the organization function, is not going without. And then at the same time, they expect donations to keep coming in order to keep functioning. And the thing is, the principles that that nonprofit organization is standing on is really the principles that network marketing functions on, but it's more than just that nonprofit organization, church, or nonprofit organization that benefits because it levels the playing field for everybody that positions themselves. Does that make sense? I mean, does that make sense? Uh-huh. Okay. The main reason why I'm so passionate about network marketing and affiliate marketing and direct sales is the fact that we can collectively move forward economically, physically, and financially if we find and work together in a network marketing platform a project that's affordable, that people can benefit from, that brings value, and that over time can create a residual income. That church that's getting all those donations that goes to help the church function, those principles are actually in network marketing available for that whole congregation. So now that whole congregation or all the members of that nonprofit organization can benefit off of, after participating in particular strategies and uh, goal setting, you know, things like that. 
And so my thing is, people are always saying, well, you know, all we got to do is work together. Okay, well, let's work together. Okay, well, let's go join this nonprofit organization and pay our membership fee. Okay, after your membership fee is paid, who benefits? Well, you know, the organization, it'll help you do this, that, and, okay. They'll help me better my credit. They'll help me uh, fill out the paperwork for school. They'll help me, and that's fine. But that doesn't actually empower you into a life-changing, well, it could, but as far as giving you the authority and giving you what you need in order to focus on your dreams, your goals, and your accomplishments and things like that, that nonprofit organization can't do that, in my opinion. You know, they can help you get... Not, not for you. Yeah, not for you. There's nothing in it for you, in that sense. Right. And so that's why if we can collectively understand the benefit of network marketing and embark on collective economics where it positions everybody that's involved to benefit, it'll move a lot better and a lot faster. But the thing that's holding us back is mindset and information. Because there's too many untruths that's out there that people are believing and sharing and it's keeping people conditioned to believe that the only way they can function or the only way they can survive is to get one more degree, get one more job, uh, get one more something that, that's not going to benefit them. When they got so much greatness in them that they don't, that they're afraid to tap into it. But if it's, if it's heaven sent and you know it's in you and you're at work every day thinking about music, thinking about paint, thinking about writing or debating or teaching or um, designing a car or speaker or music or engineering, if that's in you all the time and you're not tapping into it, you're doing yourself an injustice plus you're allowing other people to destroy your goals, your dreams, your ownership possibilities, and more. So, the reason that I'm so passionate and the reason that I want my team and all of us are actually working as hard as we are is because we are passionate about helping other people tap into their greatness. We are passionate about people changing their mindset and re realizing working a job for 30 years builds someone else's empire and it doesn't position you to, it doesn't position you in the future to be able to maintain a lot of times considering that the cost of living is going up considering you're getting older and you aren't able to do some of the stuff that you used to do considering with technology a lot of jobs are being taken away considering that the walmart stores that have been making the oodles and oodles of money are closing up the Sears and, uh, who else? Sears and Payless and all of these companies that we've been spending money on and spending money with are going out of business. But you have the B&B that doesn't own any property be the number one real estate owner. You have Uber who doesn't own one car but they had the biggest transportation company in the world. If that's the direction of things, then instead of channeling a lot of energy into doing things that don't benefit us, it's much better to begin that transition to go from not being informed to being informed, from not being positioned to being positioned. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing that I'm so that I'm passionate about or glad about with the company that I'm affiliated with, which is Shop Free Market, is the fact that they created a virtual business card that not only levels the playing field for everybody, not only positions people 
that get involved that can get positioned for free. Not only to create them uh, uh, an income in real time, it's going to allow a present or future business owner to build relationships with their prospects and or other businesses. And the thing is, is not only is it going to do that, it's going to create uh, an extra income in real time. Because it pays in real time. As soon as somebody sees the value in that business card and they purchase, the person that referred them is gonna get paid. What other what other industry what other company can you be a part of for free? Get started for free and get paid in real time. It's not many. And so the reason that we're sharing this is because we see a golden opportunity. And we want to invite as many people to participate or get involved. But if you have a business, if for no other reason that you get involved, use the the business, the virtual business card to build your database of prospects. Because I guarantee that if you have a business, people are coming in and out of your store and you do not know who they are. Right. Right? Every day. Every day. Every day. So if they go in and out of your store and you don't have their contact information, but they know where you where your location is, what if one day it's slow? If you want to increase traffic just on that slow day because you have that database, you can send a message out to that database specifically that just so happened to deal with, uh, uh, say it's a restaurant and you get french fries. You can send a message out to that database of people. When you send a database to those people, that's going to allow you to invite them and to entice them to come in. All you need is a percentage of those people <coughs> to come in on your slow day. And you win. That increases your revenue and your bottom line. So when people say, well, you know, I don't even pass out business cards. Well, I don't even. But what are you doing to build your business? What are you doing, if you're in this for the long haul, what kind of budget do you have together that you are using to build or create more revenue in your company? Or are you just wanting to be mediocre, average, and just hope for the best? If you're wanting to do it and you want to do it strategically, me, my team, have a tool that you can use, have an opportunity that can benefit the present or future business that you have and we have a, a platform of quality products that everybody needs whether it's getting in better health with all natural products that you normally don't have access to whether it's traveling the world uh taking cruises hotels staying at a different rate as opposed to staying at another uh the traditional rate and the main thing is getting access to technology and what it can actually bring to you. Okay? So, because I only got 15 minutes on this one, I'm going to wrap this one up. <laughs> so, okay. um, but in the meantime, on the next one, I'm going to kind of go into the, the benefits of the uh, virtual business card, and I'll write those down too, but I just wanted to get that out okay. because it's been so many people talking about those nonprofit organizations, and they're just saying, it ain't necessarily benefiting people, but they're right. there. I mean, outside of the ones that can benefit you, but they don't necessarily benefit you to where you can create wealth, residual income, compound interest, and those sort of things. All right? So, All right. this is Tracy flooding the city. And um, I'll be back in just a few uh, to kind of go into what the car actually is supposed to be pertaining to a little more in depth, which is the virtual business card. All right. And I think...